tell you, are you ready, Liam? Yes, sir, ready to go. Okay. Remove the iron of focus over here. All right, okay. What a day so far, but now it's time to cook. What I've decided is I'm going to do some burgers for the ladies and gents upstairs. So what am I doing? I'm doing Lowe's version of the McDonald's Big Mac. Exactly the way it is from a layer perspective, meat, salad, sauce ratio, everything, but with good quality ingredients. I'm making the secret sauce myself. I've got my trusted mate Rob here, who's going to help me with all of these things. You might know him from, well, I don't know, professional rugby, but also a very good scallop and bacon roller if you check my last video. So, uh, Rob, how's it? How's it, man? Are you excited? It's always nice to be your sous chef, right? Yeah, sous yeah, chef. Sous chef, Bissel. Okay, Rob, if you can help me with the dicing of the lettuce for now, and the dicing of the onions, I'll crack on with the sauce, and then we'll crack on with everything else. We need four trusty friends for the perfect burger sauce, and there you see them. And don't let the ingredients differ, okay? If you're gonna get mustard, American mustard. If you're gonna get mayonnaise, American mayonnaise. If you're gonna get ketchup, American ketchup and a little bit of British Worcestershire sauce. Burger sauce, this is brilliant. It's a cheeky little difference to my normal burger sauce here. Right, so. What I do in this sauce though, is normally I squeeze a little bit of ketchup in, um, in this, this one I put in quite a bit. So I'm not shy with my ketchup, as you can tell. Already? Yep. Oh, don't cry, Rob. Because Rob's crying because he's going to go play professional rugby for the Austin Gil Gilgronies. Gilgronies? Yes. Gilgronies? Gilgronies. He's going to play professional rugby and in less than a month, and he's crying because he's going to miss me. But I'm still going to see you on Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know, get it. <laughs> okay. Right, and a bit of mustard, two spoonfuls. Brilliant. Love it. Okay, cool. This is a magic power ingredient. If your mouth isn't watering behind that camera, there's something wrong, mate. My eyes are watering, definitely. We're not done with the sauce yet. So McDonald's has a little crisp in their sauce. So inside of that Big Mac sauce, they normally have a little bit of dill and a little bit of onion. So my dill and onion that we're gonna cut here today, we're gonna add to this sauce. And we're gonna get that little bit of crunch in the sauce. I think what I'll do, Rob, is I'm gonna start with the meatballs, because you're slow as f Thank you. Thank you for the compliment. So, meat, okay. The key with burgers, the meat and the heat, okay? You cannot f this up. Right, the meat, 80-20 beef. Don't accept any substitute, not 90-10 lean, all that other 80-20 ground beef and you're good. If you really wanna get technical, ask them for chuck. Go to the butchers, I want chuck maybe short rib, maybe brisket. In fact, take all three, chuck, short rib and brisket, mix them together, best burger patty in the world. If you can get the Wagyu version, version even better. Well, the Big Mac's not a particularly big burger, ironically, but um, a Big Mac patty is a very flat thing. So what you wanna do is you wanna get a tiny bit of meat. It's not even a golf ball size, if, if, that, if that is it. So you wanna, actually not even that big, there you go. That about the size of a golf ball. So if you got one of those, now each person has two patties on a Big Mac, so you can have two of these, so it makes a nice sizable patty. So, 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 so Rob here, when he was playing for the Lions, the championship winning Lions, Rob here had a nickname, Red Card Rob. It's because he tackled people when he wasn't meant to. Well, I tackled people, but just in the wrong way. <laughs> That's yeah, almost the same. <laughs> You're doing well there, mate. Just as even I can feel it, I'm a fucking eyes. There we go. That is some skill. Watch check, JLC Master Compressor, badass mother. That's one of the top watches you'll ever see in your life. Probably one of the top five brands in the world. And also, for those uh, music fans out there who like the band Kiss, I have Paul Stanley's signature shoes on. Stay there. Check it, check it. Check it, check it. So Rob, you've been out of the game now for how long? Yeah. And what do you reckon it's gonna be like to get in? Tiring, uh, sore, uh, painful, yeah. And um, and when does the season start? Everything is starting in the fifth. Okay, so, oh, so you just have to be there by? 
jam. So it's okay. like the fourth of jam. And what is what is your training like at the moment, dude? So at the moment I'm doing two cycles a week and three running sessions a week. Got it. So that's four gyms sessions a week. Oh, wife. Come here. I'm sure that you can pull a blanket off of that bed over there. This is my wife, Tara. Say hello to the camera. Hey. Mm. This looks good. Mm. Um, uh, babe, just pull that, that, that white thing off there. Take it with you. At least my wife comes, comes and says hello to me. Yeah, I told you. My wife is just in the rain. Time away. You can go by me. Time away from the low one. You can come closer to me, Rob. Right? I promise. It's just, it's just, I mean, it just, it's me pulling me down. Me off. too, actually. Oh, God. Mother <laughs> We didn't have the ability to do that. Well, actually, now that we're cutting it straight on the table, so yeah, we did have the ability to do that. So, many years ago, I worked for an Italian-American guy. His name was Silvio. And Silvio came to South Africa in the late 80s, maybe even late 70s. And I'm convinced that Silvio was either an ex-mobster or uh, was fleeing from ex-mobsters. Because what does an Italian-American dude do in South Africa in the 70s and 80s? Anyway, so I worked for this guy in the restaurant for a long time. He taught me how to make these patties. He said to me, boy, it's about the meat and the heat. First thing is why 80-20? 20% fat, 80% meat because then you don't need to put breadcrumbs or egg or anything inside of it. The whole thing just sticks together with the, with the actual fat. That's a, that's, that was a pretty neat trick. Next thing is, you gotta turn the plates up hot and you gotta press that platy, patty really flat because then you get a char, but you don't steam the burger. So you get a really juicy inside. You got a crispy outside. So we'll do that just now. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times four. Okay, I think that's enough. Rob, what's eight times four? <laughs> Stick to rugby, dude. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there's a, there's a trick with these buns. So we have to get them the same as a McDonald's bun. Okay, dope. All right. All I need from this is that that for the middle bun now you've got two buns take that little guy and now that is your base for your big mac so now to cut the pickles here in what shape do you want it so if you put it down okay and that way and just chop it and it rings all the way down i need three per burger i've got 18 burgers can you do the math yeah, I can count now again. It's not a problem. It's, a, it's, a, it's about 60, try, cut 60. I'm like already 40 in. <laughs> yeah, one of the coolest things uh, that, uh, that I do is I ask Rob to do the on the spot maths, you know, making it look like I knew all along. I didn't. <laughs> couldn't, make, couldn't do the maths right there. I'm too f***ing tired after that photo shoot. <laughs> Can't even think what one plus five is right now. That's big dance. <laughs> I'm right. There we go, there's the math. Genius over here. Thank you. Okay, so, thank you. Whilst Rob's busy with that, a bit of the old brown sugar. That's finally for you. Just makes it a little bit sweeter and then kind of matches the McDonald's flavor. What would your burger joint be called? If, you had a burger joint. if I had a burger joint, that's a very good question I've, because I've thought about this so many times. Because as you know, I like burgers, and as you know, I like shakes. Yes. And as you know, my wife makes awesome cakes. So I thought I'll call it burgers, shakes, and awesome cakes. Where's the mic so I can drop it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you pass me that onion? Well, the boys <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the first, first bit of crisp that we want in it. Cool. 
So Rob's done a really good job here. That wants to go just half a hand in there because we're going to need the rest for the burger. So I need those pickles. Okay. You can you can take a, a half hand and pop it in. That? Well, you've got huge hands, so, so yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> cool. cool, that's perfect. Oh boy. Right, whilst Rob is doing the assembly for me, thanks Rob, um, it's time to get some meat on the grill. Sounds good. Nice. Okay, so these balls need to be flattened out, okay? Here's, your, here's how you do it. Done. As soon as I see smoke, then I'm good. That's the noise we want to hear. Now this one doesn't get one one, it gets only two on one patty. Put onion on that one. I put onion on this one. Okay, so bottom. Put an on top. Okay. And there we have a big mac. But now, Rob, I need you to taste one. Why don't you uh, put that in your face and tell me what you think? Okay. So, all eyes on Rob, yeah? <laughs> mm. <laughs> this Corona thing, I also want to buy. That's so nice. Oh my God. Yes. This is worth getting arrested for. <laughs> Right guys, we've got some other people to cook for, so we're gonna carry on. You're gonna get out of here. Thank you very much, hope you enjoyed that. And thank you very much for an awesome day. Cheers.